This is Jolene Diaz. She's 46 years old and lives in San Francisco. Some people claim that she is the world's hottest mom. I happen to agree with that. And a few weeks ago, I ended up hitting her up, asking her out on a date. We spent the whole day in San Francisco together, had a bunch of laughs, had a bunch of fun, and we got along really well. A few weeks later, I messaged her and asked if she'd be down to come to LA and spend the day with me. She happily agreed, and here's what happened. We're at a dog park today. Hello, little dude. Hello, Mr. Polar Bear. It's a beautiful day out here today. We're at a dog park in LA. And this is where I told Jolene to meet me. We're filming a YouTube video today with Jolene Diaz. What do you think about that? Yeah. <laughs> so Jolene made the six hour drive to come and see us. And I see her right now. Jolene. I'm glad you found it, the dog park. You picked the best spot. I just wish I had my dog. Oh yeah, you do have a dog. Yeah. This is the microphone. You're not gonna do the body rock? Jolene's got the mic now. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hey, big dog. Oh, what do they think of each other? They start going crazy. Hello. <laughs> it just foamed all over Noah. Hi. So the funniest thing just happened. So I had this little bit in mind where I was going to be like, Jolene, I got you a cake pop. Oh, you don't eat sugar? Fine, I'll have it. Uh -huh. So I had it in here, and the huge St. Bernard just came and pissed all over it. <laughs> oh, my. It's the... It's the thought that you see counts. That? Look at the li yellow in the thing. The St. Bernard, the big. You know why he peed on it? Because he knows he knows cake pops are bad for your health. You know what? You're right. And it's probably <laughs> for the best. But I was holding on to that like all morning. So I have this weird attachment to I it. I wonder right now. what it looks like. It's probably smashed. Was it in your back pocket? No, I actually was holding it like really gently because I was you know. gonna. But cake eat it. is my favorite dessert. <sighs> we actually have another gift for you. This is for you. What? Cake pop now this magically appears? The, the cake pop thing did kind of fall through, but I think this will be a little bit better. This is so cute. What the? Ooh, what is that? Oh my God. Oh my God, this is so tight. What is it? Who's brand? It's a strawberry park? Oh my what? God. Is that okay. the new strawberry park? Icy Blue Letterman? This is sick. Do you guys still say that word? That was out when I was younger. Sick? Ah. <laughs> Whoa, is it, is it real leather? Oh yeah, this, oh, it ain't no flugazy. Ooh. <laughs> Trendy. Wait, I gotta go. I'll go in the sun a little bit. Ooh. This is so tight. Noah's got one on. Noah looks great in this one. Look at that. Oh, we're back in high school, you oh and me. My oh my God. Oh. What, what year were you in high school? I graduated 1995. Were you born? 97. Oh my God, you were born in 97. <laughs> yes. So the first thing I wanted to ask you was the video that we made with you, I think it's at 2 million views. It got like 5 million that on Facebook or something. 2 million views? What was the reception like after that? Were people hitting you up? Were you getting a bunch of DMs? So I don't really check DMs, so I was actually getting emails, which oh. I was like, well, wait, what? And then I was getting like my aunts who are on Facebook mm -hmm. were like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? Yeah, people were saying like there's reactions and I don't, there were all kinds of things. And I thought, I just don't get into the hype of all that. You know, I come home and I'm too tired to really, really look into it. But mm. I thought, what did Noah and Ryan, Ryan get me into? <laughs> but it was fun, it was fun. So I actually went on the YouTube, read the the comments and seriously seriously your subscribers are so nice they are so supportive and kind I was like oh my god I need these people in my life it's weird because they're mean to me but um, as long as they're nice to you I mean that's perfect overall I have to say I really I love seeing in your in your comments like I know this sounds so it's gonna sound so stupid but like good people in this world mm. like, and I like that they appreciated like the parts that really mattered mm. like, people were like you have to get her back she has to come back oh, and oh, I know that's like pressure Hello. Hey! Hey there! Hey! That is hilarious. I love it. Hello. We need to all be this happy, pup. You're showing us. You're showing us. Be happy. <laughs> I wish I had my He's pup with so me. Fun. My pup Whoa. died in 20, his name's Coco. Oh, wait, what? Rest in peace. He was like 18. Was he a small dog? He was a cockapoo. They don't usually live that long. What's her name? Willow. 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 That's pretty. I like that little tool, the little ball tool. That is, there wait, it goes. How long ago did your dog die? Cause those have been out forever. What, that little thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Coco wasn't a fetcher. He just kind of was fat. He was and a just, lapper. Yes, he was a lapper and just made snort noises. Time for a little yap session. Uh, <laughs> is that what they're called? I just kind of made that. I well, like that. Yapping is what people are calling okay, it so these days. Okay, so if I ever go live, I'm going to title it Yap Session and you have to join. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm a professional yapper. <laughs> so I asked the viewers on Instagram. Oh my, this is my second Instagram. So if they 
didn't follow it. They didn't get an opportunity to ask you questions. What well, this this question says? What's the craziest advance a student's parent has ever made on you? Because you know they, you know that that happened. I mean, nothing, nothing ever too crazy. Oh yeah, because it doesn't. No, no, I can't answer actually because it's in my it's in my city area. I don't want to do it. I'm sorry, guys. I can't do that. I I respect where I work. Maybe is there an example of one? I don't want to say any of my kids' parents that were single ever tried to get at me. Okay, only the married ones. No, tried not to get the married you. ones. Either. Has it ever happened? Sure, but I think it happens to all teachers. I really do. Yes, yes, all teachers. All of them? Sure. I'm thinking no. about the teachers I had. No. Ain't no one making advances on them. Next question: Is it true that girls have a list of guys that they can use for different situations? Food guy, transportation guy, listener guy. Um, I don't have one of those. I have a list. Mm. So basically, I'm gonna answer that question for you. Yes, that is 100% true. Oh yeah. Girls will have I the. I didn't say no, but yeah, I do think some. Not all girls. Not all girls. And is there anything wrong with it? What was your first impression of Ryan? I thought you looked very healthy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I we can work with that. You were very. I really thought you were very sweet. You seem like internally you're a very sweet, genuine person. Truly, you give good hugs. I could tell that you love your family. I could just tell by the way you treated me and treated the people around us that you were raised in a way that you're respectful to to people. I really like that. I think I said it in the first video. You're tall. It's like so much taller. I thought you were my height. <laughs> <laughs> and I liked your outfit. I'm liking this compliment. Let's keep going. I think that you're very sweet and you mean well when you're like, you're, you know, so attractive, that kind of stuff. What's her ethnicity? We got a lot of those questions. What is your ethnicity? I'm from Guam, so I'm Chamorro and Filipino. What is your mom and what is your dad? My mom is half Filipino and then Chamorro and then my dad's Chamorro. Okay, so but, three fourths yeah. Guam. Yeah, but then on the Guam. side. No, it's from Guam. Chamorro. Gua Can you say Chamorro? I can't say Guamanian. But Chamorro's better because you know someone. Tomorrow. Yeah. Actually, Noah's tomorrow. Yeah, Noah. Hey, <laughs> shout out to that island. island it's an island, island, right? Yes, yes, it is. It's a tiny island. Wow. It's tiny. Dope. Noah and I are special. Probably you guys are related. We are related. We are. I'm his great aunt. They said, ask about the political and economic state of the world right now. I try not to get political because I don't want the families I teach to uh, feel uncomfortable, you know, what whatever side they're on, but I'm not a politician, so I don't want to comment on politics. Okay. Do I feel like the world is in, nah, I'm sad about the world, yeah. And we have to agree that all the death is sad. Like, uh, agreed. Across the board, people have to agree. What? They keep asking about me. What is the best feature? They love you. What is the best feature about Rhino? I don't know why they keep asking um, these questions. I like your voice. Oh, really? Yes. What about my voice do you like? It sounds very mature. Oh, for real? I like mature men. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I realized I started to get mature when I'm around immature people. I'm like, damn, can y'all shut the hell up? But then I'm completely immature a lot of the other times. <laughs> Uh, I'm almost done. I'm almost there. Okay, uh, what things do men do that think is attractive to women, but actually isn't? I think nice cars. I think if you have a car, a clean, decent car, I think if you have a good job and you could drive like a cheap, cheaper car, I don't, I'm not into cars. I don't think a lot of girls are. Okay, so guys don't have to be worrying too much about their I car. I don't like guys in nice cars, really. Mm, I don't know, if, I think that's cap, probably. Because if I had like a Lamborghini, you're not gonna be like, oh, this sucks. Actually, if I knew the guy, I should take, please take that back. Because my kid's dad, he was super into nice cars. Like mm. he had all these, and you know. And you had I, a kid with him. Yeah, I, so I have to take that back. <laughs> Never take dang advice from women. Yeah, yeah. Mm. hypocrite, hypocrite, number one hypocrite. <laughs> oh shit. How often do you get recognized in public? Not nearly as close as many times as you, but. I mean, often enough to where I don't want to leave the house looking like total, I can't Every leave day? The house. Every time you go out in public? Well, I also live in the Bay, so yeah. Like in the Bay, yes. And what do they come up to you and say? And what's your demo? It used to only be like 20 something year old guys. Like <laughs> we come and be like, can I take a picture of the, are you Jolene? But now it's so cool because I get more girls. Mm. I, I remember I went into a candle shop recently and the girl's like, oh my gosh, you know, can I get a picture? And I'm like, sure. It's kind of like. Sure, whatever. No, yeah, I'm Jolene. Like, yeah, no. I'm like, oh, it's kind of like I'm no one, but okay. You are someone. I mean, if I want to be someone you look up to that is a good example, like that you could, you know, just be a teacher, be happy, that's good. I think uh, yeah. you're such a genuinely nice person. If I say, oh, you're so beautiful, or oh, can I take a picture with you? You're so awesome. In a way of being like respectful and humble, you like to say things like, who am I? But I'm nothing special. I'm nothing crazy. I'm not that attractive. As if to be more humble, but really, it's okay if you're super cool. And if you're super 
attractive. You're not cocky at all whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to let more compliments just land. Just let them land. You're the best. To be like, no. thank you. No. <laughs> I'm like, when people say you're a great teacher, I'm like, I know I, that I can mm. say I am and be proud of. This person asks, how are you? I'm happy. Happy. The weather's nice. Around good people. Mm. Just saw a bunch of dogs. I'm great. Do you believe in astrology? No. But my sister, who I came here with, she was like, oh, he's a Gemini. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I know. Good Lord. Come on, sis. She's like, how dare you? Yeah. No, I'm outing her right now. She is so deep into it. And I'm like, what? No. What instantly gives you the ick? The hygiene, for sure. But like yellow teeth. Mm. That looks like there's plaque in it. Ugh. That's like the big the big one, but yeah. that's it. What if a girl's like so hot and then she opens her yep. mouth and there's like plaque all over it? You're like, bro. Like, no. And she got them snaggle teeth. That is a big one. Teeth. Teeth. Yeah. Last question. This is probably the most important one, I think, for the viewers too. On a scale of one to squirrel, what is your favorite shape of the alphabet, true or false? How do I not know this language? One to squirrel. Why are you laughing? I'm not. On a scale of one to squirrel, what is your favorite shape of letter in the alphabet? True or false? Wait, 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 wait. On a scale of one to t squirrel, what is your favorite letter shape in the alphabet? True or false? What are you doing to me right now? False. There we go. That's, that's our answer. Okay, but what was the question? That was the question. If I know you need to translate in normal language what that means. It was just a silly question. That didn't make any sense. Oh. That's okay, supposed to be funny. Okay. It is funny because I thought it was serious. Yeah, you took it very seriously. I'm, like, I'm an idiot. This is why I'm single. Don't call <laughs> don't call yourself an idiot. Never insult yourself. Because your brain I'm doesn't I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. I'm ugly. I'm awful. <laughs> your brain doesn't know. Brain doesn't know the difference if it's coming from a, an external source or yourself, it'll start to slowly believe it over time and you'll start to feel worse and worse about yourself. I get it. I don't want my students to talk down on themselves because I feel like it does affect like the confidence you have in yourself. But when I call myself an idiot, I'm still confident. Trust me. If you just tell yourself like, you're incredible, you're the best, you're a superstar and do it every morning and do it frequently throughout the day. And soon you'll start to believe it and just be happier. I can actually see that. Apparently. Also in my classroom, we have that affirmation mirror. Mm. So the kids actually do. I do see them walk by. That will be some cute shit. Yeah. A little third grader like, I'm the best. I can do it. That would be oh, they, precious. Yeah. They, and they do think that though. Because if you ain't going to be your number one fan, who else is good, supposed to be right, it? Right, right. You got to believe in yourself. So you took us to the San Francisco version of this park. I know. Look at these things. Oh. oh okay, well, let me see what happens if I like. Will he do that to me too? Oh. I don't want to get too close. I just want to grab him. I figured I would treat you to the swan boat experience. How romantic. Because I'm trying to just spice things up a little bit. <laughs> Man, I got a sweet tooth. Jolene, you don't have a sweet tooth. I love sweets. Do you want something? I'll get you some. Rhino's getting some. I can't have dairy. Do you want me farting? No. Yeah. So I think I'll just <laughs> I'll get something. Hello, sir. I just wanted the number 34 here with the rainbow sprinkles. I know there's no way you can be tough as a guy and get rainbow sprinkles. I think you're very masculine for getting the sprinkles. Oh, look at that. That was fast, you know. Little leg? Not Hello, sir. How are y'all? We're great. We're back with a new girl. I mean, just kidding. Usually I'm not supposed He's to say I've seen you here before. You told me I was the first person you've brought here. Um, anyway. Wait, so you have seen him here with another girl? I can neither deny nor confirm. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm not fit. Ain't no way you're tired yet. Ain't no way. I'm doing more work than you. I'm the I've been getting us to move. I've been consistently peddling this thing. Me too. Do you wear sunblock? I don't. You need to. I know. That's why I look the way I do. Okay. You're good. I thought Jolene was I'm super doing, in shape. I'm doing all the work. Super fit mom. Can't even pedal. It's been what, one minute? Look at this duck this here. Is, I like this a lot, actually. The little white face duck. Yeah. Scary ass oh, little thing. We were talking about getting older and people fear getting older. Do yeah. you fear aging? I'm already, we are all aging, but no. That's true. Yeah, no. You don't? I think for me, I think people should focus on quality of life and not like how old they are. I, I've noticed recently people are scared of looking old facts like but they're scared at 29 of looking old mm. they're not looking old at 29 most people i've seen some girls i could graduate high school well, with i'm like damn bitch <laughs> i'm no spring chicken either 
What if it like gets angry? Hi, what kind of bird is that? Wow, I'm like low-key scared scared of birds. <laughs> like if that thing just jumps at us, see, see how it's looking at us like that? I don't like that. Like I bet you it's defending its eggs or some shit. This is not a good date. This is don't, a good date. Don't you, take girls on this for a date. You, I'm trying to see if they can work. They're going to stink. They're going to be sweaty. <laughs> yeah. You're going to stink. They're going to stink. I would say this does look far more cute, fun, and romantic from the road. And then when you're actually doing it, it's like, duh, <laughs> my legs hurt. So are you on Hinge? I am. Mm. That is the only dating app I've had my mom though. Are you on any dating apps? I use Hinge. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why do you like Hinge? I like it because the girls look better. Really? Yeah. Okay. I feel like the guys look better. There we go. Yeah. Maybe we'll match one day. How many matches do you get? 10,000? I'm struggling to sort of get like a few. Let's look at your hinge. Are you kidding me? 1,600? How big is your distance range? Because I think mine is 3,000 miles. How big is yours? I think it's like it's the like one, area. one mile. Okay. I don't want to show anybody's profiles or specific conversations, but I'm going to just look at this real quick. You know, on mine, I'm used to uh, like it'll show you this person liked you. This person. Mm -hmm. It'll show you the few yeah. people that like you. Yeah. Mine might be like one to three a week. Look at this. I like don't that. I'm scrolling, and these are all roses and all like these dudes are paying. But doesn't everyone have to pay? Like not girls, but they're all men. It shut down the app. <laughs> Back to the likes. You can't even scroll to see all of the notifications without the app shutting down. How can 12 people be added and we just clicked on it? Girls have it easier than guys. That's true. They really genuinely have and, it easier than guys. And it's not its not anyone's fault. That's just the way things are. Does having too many options ruin it? If you go to the grocery store and you're looking for jam, strawberry jam, and there's 1,500 jam jars, all different brands with different things, how do you choose which one you want? I agree. You're right. Because then you go for what label you think looks the best. Mm-hmm. And like, I try to not be so superficial, but there has to be some kind of aesthetic that's a pleasing, even in food. Correct. <laughs> You're cursed with options. Let's say you've had a relationship with one guy and he was tall or this, or he had a certain number of characteristics. And then you were with another guy a year later, months later, whatever. He had a few different characteristics, maybe some that were better than the other guy. Yeah. And then what happens is you start to want to build this perfect man in your head. Like, oh, well, Ryan had this, this, and this, but Noah was taller, this and that. And then you never get the guy you want because you're comparing all your previous partners. I think, I think if you're comparing, I think you can compare X, you call them, like deal breakers. Mm -hmm. That's something totally different. If you're comparing people to your previous or your ex, mm -hmm. then you're not over your ex. Right? But even on a subconscious level, like I do it. If I was with a certain girl with a certain physique or something, and then you're with a new girl, it's like, well, she wasn't. Okay, so what if the previous girl you were with didn't have a good physique, but you were super in love with her? And that has happened. The next girl, are you going to go, well, she didn't have the same, you know, flat butt and <laughs> no boobs. I don't want her. her. She has booty and boobs. I, I can't have this girl. Like, no. Why, well, well, See, that's, that's different. So, no. But it's, it, that would, <laughs> it's not. That it's example kind of, would no. be like, yes, I upgraded yeah. but it's like but oh her personality wasn't as good as this thing here yeah I, mean, I guess i think the point i'm making is it's almost better when you but have you're no options it to another girl you're still saying oh but her personality isn't as good as so and so's true i it, do it but probably it's i've got less of women to compare from what are you trying to say i date a lot of guys you're so bad how many boyfriends have you had i've had four maybe five maybe 14. my one no my one in high school we were together for four years okay and then out of high school, we were together for like two years. Then I saw no one. Then I had my kids. Okay. And Shout out to them. I had my boyfriend from like end of 20, yeah, like four. Five is like that. We kind of skipped level. like 20 years there. Um, oh, so I, high school. Four years. And then I graduated. My boyfriend that I dated till I was 21 almost. And then, um, and then my kid's dad, we were friends. And then I had my ex that I was with till like 2018. 24. Four. But like I say the fifth one because like, I mean, as much as you know, we weren't together. We were seeing each other for like years. Do you feel when you're with someone, do you have to be around them all the time? Not all the time, but do you feel like, oh man, I wish she was here. Or like, do you have to text her and be like, where are you? I think yes, 
but then I need a I need a casual break. I need like maybe a 60, what's the math on that? 60, 40? 60 with oh, the person okay. and maybe 40 by myself. That's good. I got flamed in a, one of our videos because I said monogamy isn't natural for humans. Meaning humans by nature have families and stay in groups and stay in communities. But if monogamy came natural to humans, cheating would be rare. You wouldn't hear about people cheating. Oh, that's true. So men cheat because they want quantity. Yeah. Women, when they cheat, it's because they want to up the quality potentially in a certain metric. That's so they might be with the guy at the uh, foam cannon party at Cancun while their boyfriend's back at home just because he was more attractive. And then they'll go back. How many people know someone that's che been cheated on? Everybody. Yeah. yeah. So if it was natural, yeah. you see what I'm saying? I think that it's not cheating if you both know what you're getting into. Fact. Right? So, but that takes a different type of security in the love that you have for each other. Mm -hmm. So I think in our, I think we've been groomed definitely to like be one, one person, right? Mm -hmm. It's not cheating if you're not lying. Yeah, that's true. No, humans are meant for monogamy. That's just how we're wired or whatever. They, do they really they, comment that? They say that. Crazy. And then I'm like, so what does that mean? We want to be with one person our entire lives because that rarely happens. Re very rarely is one person yeah. only with one person their entire life. Women are monogamous until they're not. They'll be with one guy for a period of time and then they go to the next guy yeah. for however long period of time. Maybe it's longer and potentially another guy. So is that, that's not true monogamy because true monogamy is one person, one person forever. Yeah. That's my mom actually. First round is on me if I you love dogs. This, is, so this is your voice. The beach, lazy Sundays, and clean sheets. I hate you. <laughs> what am I supposed to put? Dirty shoes, stinky socks? Because who would even disagree with any of that? I hate dogs. I hate Some the beach. Do. I like busy Sundays. I've had guys go, do hate... you like cats? I'm really attracted to guys with clean shoes. These are the V-Box. Don't get yeah, it twisted. I like it the twisted. V -box. I like the V-Box. Uh, you got a good looking profile. I think women get that confused is what's sexier is seeing a silhouette or seeing the shape of the woman without seeing everything everything is I think more sexy than just a girl that's straight up fucking naked. Oh, that's good to know. Because girls think they have to reveal more, but that's actually not the case. If you strategically show your shape, you don't even have to show more skin necessarily. Are you ready for a relationship actually? Yeah, I am. If I meet the right person. I want to be friends with your doggo. I'm down. Let's learn. See, they like to teach your picture. They, they, they don't really. You said they stop. Men the are movie. professional bullshitters. They <laughs> will say anything. And these are handsome ass dudes on here. They are. And you're getting your whole pick of the litter. Handsome dudes. You should got every white guys, black guys. I'm seeing Asian. This you might want to be... pick one? No, because you're mine. <laughs> your mom would not agree. That was fun. Thank you. Oh, we're not going to talk about the special needs guy that tried to <laughs> kick you? <laughs> that tried to give you a sucker punch? Sucker <laughs> kick. He was, he meant well. But there's a guy with Down syndrome and he said, hello. We gave him a fist pound and then he looked at you and said, hello. <laughs> is it mad that I do the, uh, like the. Yes, it is. Don't do it. Well, that is what he said. He asked for a hug. He said, can I get a hug? And then I just said, not right now or something. He just, he was cool with the fist pound for me and Noah. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> you said, can I get a hug? I shook his hand. I wouldn't have shook his hand. His hands were dirty. I know, but I'm Why not. Why don't shake his hand? And then she's, can I get a hug? She said, no, thank you. And then he said, mm, and then fucking do did this. Do it, I want to see you do the kick. He's like, mm. No, no, no. And his, then I said. His, his leg went here. <laughs> I was like, brother, where's your chaperone? So me and Noah almost had to no, knock him out. We walked away like polite people. And he was, he said bye and we said bye and it was good. Well, he got angry though. He got real angry and he said, well, I'm 21. He did. I just, yeah. So. Thank you for taking me on the swambo, right? Here, I'll have some of that. Jolene's dessert is sprinkles. Mm, there goes breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yum. Thank you for letting me take you out here. Yeah, this was this was a lot of fun. I don't recommend it for first or second dates, but mm. maybe a third date if you guys know each other well enough. After you're with a girl and you already smashed, <laughs> then this maybe. Yeah, after like this. you're all sweaty, you know what it's like. I agree. But yeah, and this is better. Are you gonna come to the bay next time? I gotta go back there. You do. The damn clam chowder there is so good. We'll find a better spot. We'll do that. Yeah. Great, but that's not all, folks. After this, I asked Jolene if she'd be down to maybe participate in some more fun activities later into the night. And she said she was down. So the next part of this video will be coming out in a week or so. So make sure you guys subscribe, have the notifications on, because you guys aren't going to want to miss this next video that we filmed with Jolene.